Uh, I thought uh, Ariel, Lene, and Bria played extremely hard. We just couldn't get nothing going with anybody else. I mean, we're shooting air balls, short, not aggressive inside. But give them three credit because they carried us to this victory. They did a great job. It's going to be really frustrating with the shooting. You know, these are the same players that shot 58% against yeah. Kansas State. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We had some wide open shots. We just didn't hit them. Uh, I don't know why. It seemed like we were a step slow. Some of our players were just slow motion today, and I don't know why. If I knew why, I wouldn't be here. If I knew why. It's not like tonight. I mean, it just shows the work that Lene has put in. Oh, absolutely. I mean, 15 so. points, 15 rebounds. And then RL, 17 points. Hit a big three when we were struggling. We fell behind. I mean, you got to give them two a lot of credit, along with Bria. Bria played within herself, hit her foul shots, played hard. I was proud of her. You know, they were playing boxing one and stuff on her, so I, she didn't force much, and, and very proud of them three. That's what their coach was saying, that your guards didn't bite on some jump shots. They were hoping you were going to take to yeah. get it inside. Well, we started kicking it inside, and we started driving. I mean, at least Bria did. I mean, she's the only one I could get to drive in there, and uh, it's frustrating. Is this team better when Bria has a big game like this? I mean, 20-plus points. Well, yeah. no, I like it better when we're all scoring, to be honest with you, because we're hard to guard then. We're easy to guard when only a couple are scoring. That's what we went through last year. And this year, you know, when we get a lot of people scoring, it's harder to guard. And tonight wasn't hard to guard us. I mean, I, we just weren't clicking. I want to thank the people that come out tonight. I appreciate it. But I want to show that this is what frustrates me, too, and I want you all to know. This is by a sports writer in Iowa State. He writes this. Three things about West Virginia. The Mountaineers, as for as good as they've been this season, only attract 2,588 fans per home game. That's the second lowest mark in the Big 12. I mean, it, it, it's kind of embarrassing when people from other papers and other states are writing about it. And, and, and you know, I appreciate everybody come out here tonight. I really do. But, I mean, it gets frustrating after a while. And they, and they can say, I'm a baby. It'll be on, what is it, what do they get on? Twitter and all that here. He's crying about that. I don't care. Come see me. Come see me. I'll discuss this uh, lack of people coming. It, it, these girls deserve a lot more. If I don't fight for them, nobody will. And it, it, it's embarrassing when other states are saying the same thing. And I'm not. But again, we got some loyal fans. I'm not saying it. We got some really loyal fans. But it's a shame that the students and other people ain't coming to these games. It really is. It's not like we're a bad team. We're 19 and 6. It's not like it, we're a bad team. And again, people will be getting on all this stuff saying Coach Carey is a baby. Well, I may be. But anybody who wants to come to my office and, and talk about uh, people coming to games and that, I'm, I'm there every day. I'm there every day. Because I'm a little frustrated with it. This place was sold out, or you know, had a sold out. Not sold out. I mean, I'm saying, saying like the entire the lower, lower, huh? lower bowl was. was uh, oh, we got was some little fans. I'm, I'm not. I mean, we got some great little fans. I'm not right. saying that. But my goodness, man. Right. Uh, you know, it just makes me mad when people in other states are, are writing about it. I mean, it's just it's a kind of embarrassing. And, and, and you know, you look at recruiting. Oh yeah, we get great fan support. Well, people in other states are using that against us, other schools, and, and it's it, it, it's not right. It's just not right for our players. What I was gonna say was, what type of boost would it give you if, if this team, you know, you guys did attract four or five thousand? Oh, absolutely. I mean, go to Iowa State. I'll, I'll let you know how many fans they get when we play there. Where they average? You all know eight. how much? Eight or, eight or nine. Eight or nine thousand. Big difference. Big difference. When we go on the road. We go to uh, Oklahoma State, big difference. We go to Texas, big difference. We go to these places, it's a big difference. And, and I don't know why. It'd be different if we wasn't good. It'd be different if we wasn't good.
but again, you know, I'm a, I'm a crybaby, and I'm crying about it, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm a big guy. I can handle that criticism. I, I've always said, if I don't fight for our girls, nobody will. And I'm going to tell you what, I'll fight for them until I'm out of here. So if people don't like that, that's too bad. That's too bad. Other than that, you guys having a good day? <laughs> That just makes me mad. It always makes me mad. Go ahead. I'm sure you see it in places like you know, Texas and Oklahoma when, when they have a crowd and they're playing poorly. Sometimes they sure, get some, turn, sure some turn to rain. Sure it does, man. Sure it does. It's like night and day when you got excitement in the crowd, man. It's like night and day. It makes you want to play harder. I mean, it just really does. And, and you know, we're going to continue to play hard. It, you know, that didn't make us play bad today, but, you know, maybe a, a larger crowd could have made us play better with more ener en energy. I don't know. But, again, when we return this game, they're going to have eight, 9,000 in their stands. Okay? So if we, we don't play hard the next time we play them, boy, their crowd's going to be into that game the whole time. How critical was free throw percentage down? Oh, my God. Isn't, isn't it the highest we shot all year? What did we shoot? 85%? They shot 93. I mean, they're, they're the highest shooting percentage in the conference foul shot that team is. And we knew that coming in. But, yeah, we, we shot. Uh, Bria hit all her fouls. I mean, we 85%. That was great for us. And we needed every one of them. Needed every one of them foul shots. We took over the coaching. Uh, you took over the coaching of free throws after Saturday's yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could take that credit, but I can't. Uh. Any other questions for Coach? All right, appreciate it.